there yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear ten gallon hats? I think a five gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. There's Cousin Calico's ranch. I'm raring to go. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! Here we are in Briny Coach. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther, and we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. What's that big thing? Uh, oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Or good squid of the Santa Clara squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. <gasps> er, uh, Apricot! Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loo. 
What can I do for you? We uh, wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. What can I do for you kids? One rutabaga soda, please. You bet. some suspicious looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Come on. Let's check out that hatch. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One. One. Two. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. We did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest wrestler gear. You can see from this picture in WrestleMania magazine. Hmm, a blue 10-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with a K on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. The 
This is the Rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. 